Real world trading is against the rules on the game of old school RuneScape. However, making a lot of money per hour is not, so we will be replicating the methods which these gold bombers use and testing them out. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> For all those haters out there, suck my ass, because you're no good and better than everybody else. Train in number one! I'm so sick of dying, I don't know how the gold farmers do this for 24 hours a day. Back in the day, in 2018, DICE has made a video where he showed how much he made per hour farming revenants as a gold farmer would do. However, methods have changed a lot in the last two years. So in one working day, I made 9.3 million GP, which means my hourly wage is 1.16 million GP. 1.16 million GP. So in 2018, with a blowpipe, he was making only 1 mil an hour. However, with the new Inquisitor's armor, there's rumors of people making upwards of 100 million GP a day without unique drops from Revenants. I'm not gonna sell GP, but for content's sake, let's try out their money-making methods and see if they're full of shit, or if this is actually an insane new money maker with the new Inquisitor's armor. Alright, so for these gold farmers to make over 100 mil a day, we'll have to be making over 4 mil an hour. Almost all the items on the drop table are at ALK value, so you can farm this for a year. The price and profit of the basic drops will not change. If it weren't for the fact that the caves are in the wilderness, this boss would be farmed more than a crackhead loves crack. However, although you think it's probably impossible, PvPers and PBMers have teamed up and made clan chats that will protect you in certain worlds. For a small fee, of course. Alright, so we're going to be paying this clan chat the daily rate, which is 8 mil, and they will be protecting me during my ventures for the 24 hours that I paid for. Solo mission, many Iron Man have used these services before. The Discord link in the description. Paying for protection is like a gold farmer's condom, because they can't PK for shit, but it makes them look scary. Good luck killing me, you cunt. Alright, so I've got the pure sev logged out with more supplies so I can stay here for an entire hour. I have high alchemy runes as well as heli grabbing runes because I am not using the crossbow and running to pick up loot and running back to the monsters takes longer than tele grabbing and lore runes are cheap so I thought why not. So I have smoke runes in the rune pouch as well as lore runes as well as nature runes which covers all of those spells. As you can see I have the cell me and I protect everything except for the torags, the crystal shield and uh, of course the Nezi. I'm only going to be putting the stackable items in the looting bag and I'll be alking all of the other things like the rune plate bodies, rune legs. I always got rune ore so I'll put that in the bag. I think I'm just going to kill the dragon and the knight and each time I go I'm going to pick up the loot. Look I've already got three drops, the crossbow is not getting anything. Rune knight bars, mahogany planks and rune ore already and it's been two minutes. Alright we just got a bracelet drop, it's on the other side while I kill this so I'm just going to telegrab it quickly and then I'm going to alk the bracelet as it's not stackable. As you can see, after the PK has come and clear out all the people who aren't part of the clan, they just kind of chill in the world and hang out until another world is called in the clan chat and then they'll go hop and help whatever PVMer needs help from opposing teams, etc. I've only been here a few minutes and like, it's just so easy to farm. Full blown underground business this shit, man. Like, the PKs are running the 1500 total worlds, the skill total world. The PVM has paid the clan for the right to farm these monsters day in, day out, and then the clan, of course, pays the PKs. So the PKs don't even need to go to other worlds to make any money because they're already making a salary of 20 mil plus a week if they're ranked members of the clan. Hey, we just got our first dragon piece. All right, let's uh, pick that up after this kill. 63 to the head. 57, one more, finish him off. Bang, one headshot. And let's pick up our first dragon piece. The Inquisitor's armor kill speed is actually crazy. Like, I'm killing these things so fast, just hitting constant 60s. It's insane. Like, look at my chat box. It's just full of loot. <laughs> it's insane, actually. Like, I can't believe it. I gotta repot in a sec. Grab those rune bars, too, that we got. So, let's keep it up. We're almost there. Run! 
bitch! Run! the business as usual so that tank was pretty easy we're at 37 minutes exactly still haven't banked just been trading myself supplies after that tank i had to trade over a little bit of food so i'm actually on a second client running to the bank to get more supplies on pure seb but yeah this is going really well that tank was pretty easy so looks like the eight mil payment is paying off because it just saved me dying for a few mil no i'm triggered mr hunter banner just got an ancient totem you know i've never got a rare drop from revs and i've done it like, well, quite a bit. I must be approaching 1k total kills, but... Ah, well. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Quickly, before I continue the video, that 10,000 Alks giveaway goes to this man who just said holy cow, so congratulations man. On this video, I'll be giving away a dwarf cannon set, 7,000 cannonballs, and a Robin Hood hat, so you can train your new accounts up, or if you're a low level, get a really high range level with that. So thank you so much for the support. If you want a chance at winning this, all you have to do is make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you haven't, you will not be able to win. Then you need to comment your RSN, as well as what your favorite part of the video was. And lastly, make sure you smash that like button, Moment of truth. We spent one hour doing it. Time to see if you can actually make 100 mil plus a day just by farming these. I didn't get a single unique drop, so if the looting bag's value is correct, then the rumors are true. In one hour, I made 6.3 mil and I sold it for cheap in the GE. That is insane. So Dice's in 2018 was making 1 mil an hour to blow pipe. With this new setup, I just made 6.3 mil in one hour. In 2018, they were making 1.16 mil an hour. So theoretically, if you were to know life a full day, you could make some serious bank, 151 mil without any unique drops just using the setup I showed in this video. Even if you were to bank every time you got a mill looting bag and not bring all the stuff that I had, you could still make upwards of 3.5 to 4.5 mil an hour. Protection business is actually crazy. Like, I can't believe it. You make so much money if you're PVMing, so give it a go if you want. Clan chat is IU to PVP, but I want to see the PVP side of things because they tell me they pay 20 mil plus per week to the PKs, and basically all you have to do is protect the skill total worlds so of 1,500 worlds. So, uh... Let's go give it a go, why not? I always get comments, people asking me, why and how do you get into PKing? And I'm telling you that this is probably the best option you're ever gonna get. So if you're wanting to get into PKing, give it a go and I'll explain why, hear me out. So the PVMers are gonna kill the revs. The revs make money, PVMers get to keep that, they pay the clan, and the clan will pay the PKs to protect those PVMers. So not only are you getting paid to PK, you're also getting paid to learn how to PK. They'll send you all the setups you need to use and how to get right into it. All right, I've joined their Discord, which the link is in the description if you guys want to give the PKing a go. Oh, look at this. They even have setups for people and their PKs to use. As you can see, it's very minimal risk, so you'll be profiting a lot, and when you die, you basically lose just a black dehyde set and food. All right, we're hopping to help some PVMers. Let's do it. Oh, this guy's got D boots. Nice. So if we get this guy, that's like a mil at least. He's definitely got at least a mil loot. Oh, he's getting speared. Come on, give me a big ball, he's playing mage. 180 XP, he's dead. Hey, good fight. Oh shit, we've got a big team coming. We've got to help our PBMers though. I have staff spec, so this is such good practice, like for tanking. 
So I pray range, I staff spec, and then I'm just gonna gotta freeze on these guys. We should drop them pretty quick now that I've faded them in. I'd love to go for the YouTube eyes, you know. <laughs> Good fight. There it is. All right, after a few quick little fights, how much have we made? 421k already. Dude, it's just so good. Honestly, guys, go give it a go. It's, it's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, of course. And I'll see you guys for the next one.